All right. R welcome to FOH this week. We're doing the Vega Rabena Unico. Are we? God, Jesus, he's prepared. Um, got the box. Got the box. <laughs> because remember, Ken, this is part of our pyramid series. We've had to date, we've had a uh, leading the leading the pack is a brilliant Monty 2 followed uh, closely behind by a P2, which really surprised all of us. And then um, a slightly disappointing Dip 2, which is uncharacteristic of the Dip 2s this year because they have been fantastic. Can, can I the, rewind, rewind just there? You said uh, f followed by the P2, which surprised all of us. In what sense? You, you didn't well, think I, it would I be that the P2, I've been enjoying the P2s, but I didn't think it would perform as well as it did. Um, it's not what you, you know. said on the video. Well, I, I thought, well, not they've, been good. Doing some really no, they've been good for 18, 19, 18, 19, mate. They've been really good 18, 19. I just didn't expect a 94 point cigar out of the box. And what not from you either. Weren't they 93? 94. We went 93, 94. Yeah. We? On those. Yeah. So I just didn't expect it to be that high. Yeah. They've been really good. So no, it's a dip twos, by the way. It's a dip twos. I just didn't, I, you know, if, you, if we were to rate the, the pyramids at the beginning of this year blind or beginning of this series blind, I, I, yeah, I probably would have put the dip two first. And what second? P2, but nowhere See, near that level. I would have put Monty two first. You would have, but yes. you know. Yeah. So when you say we all thought that, in fact, only 50% of us thought that. Well, the 50% that count. <laughs> so on one hand, we have, the 50, we have the 50% that count and we have the 50% that were right. <laughs> on that note, have, totally you, have, you found your, have you found your gifted Vega Rabona Unico? Why, why isn't that in the freaking computer? I'm asking, do you want it in? I take it that's a yes. We've already started with that. It's going to shut everything down. Leave it there. We'll leave it the way it is. Yeah, yeah well, I leave it the way it is. Down the other day. You know, when we have two o'clock, you're to be ready. Two o'clock means you're ready to roll, yeah? Yeah? I was ready. And then you disappeared off to get yourself no, drinks. No, no, everything here was set up ready to go. I was just getting a drink. Jesus Christ. We'll be... Well, how's your cigar? Where's your cigar? Where is your where's your Vega Unicos? What's it look like? What's it smell it like? like? What's it feel like? It would appear to be uh, in order. Beautiful aroma, yeah. Now this is a uh, GEM Feb Twenty, people. So uh, a young. We give up on the rat cigars. Yeah, rat December nineteenth a finish. We're on to the G. This is a gem. GEM Feb Twenty. So what what you say is your, you got a fairly rich aroma on yours? Yeah, it is actually. A nice yeah. le old leather. It's really that old leather character. <sighs> like you're in a house doing probate and you're sitting in an old leather chair. Yeah, I'm not sure about prostate. but um, Probate, we'll, not prostate, you idiots. We'll be back with you shortly. Your probate, your prostate might cause probate. Kenny, first third of this Unicos. Creamy, creamy coffee. Um, tiny bit of caramel, um, some spices. It's mild. It's, um, it's not, certainly not an in-your-face style. Um, I'm enjoying it. It's not a great oh. cigar yet. Uh, oh, look, a beautiful burn, now. Oh. I love the Christmas cake. A little bit of Christmas cake in there. Uh, just a little bit of raisin, a little bit of cake, a little bit of coffee. The co I'm getting more of that sort of coffee character rather than the Christmas cake, but um, very sort of creamy coffee. Um, definitely, definitely some raisin in there for me. I'm, I'm a fan of the Unico. I really am. I, it's such a relaxing cigar that, and they generally have a good level of complexity to them. It's for so, I, don't, I can't remember a bad one, to be honest. It's a sort of cigar that if, if you're not careful, you just completely forget you, you're supposed to be looking at it. Um, you just go along smoking, enjoying it and yakking away or w whatever. 
and you don't think about it because it's just um, there's nothing that sort of sticks out or interrupts or it's just a lovely cigar that sort of floats along um, and you just don't think about it almost it's just there um, whereas others have you know do stick their nose in with their flavours and, and characters. Yeah, yes, but at, a, at the same time, if you incline your mind to, to what it's delivering. Oh, yeah, yeah, if you do that. Start, but I'm just talking about if you're not... You, start, yeah. you can see all the subtlety to the cigar. It's I, nice I, Absolutely. Uh, all, all I'm talking about is if, if you're actually sort of like we've been yakking away for the last 15 yeah, yeah. minutes or whatever, um, you almost forget you're smoking a cigar. It's just yeah, it becomes part of you almost, which is true. not a bad thing. Back with you at the end of the second third. Second third, Kenny. Well, this is really kicked into gear now. Um, and uh, it's not so much Christmas cake for me, but it's almost like a, a lovely sponge cake type character. Um, kind of caught it. <laughs> yeah, that's, there's a bit of that sort of thing. I'm still getting that... Um, um, creamy coffee character. There's a little bit of caramel underneath. Um, uh, maybe some dried fruits. Thoroughly enjoyable. Delightful cigars, aren't they? Oh. Oh, I tell you what, your dip uh, dip thingies are um, they're looking like the wooden spoon. Well, don't, don't say that. I've got, a, I've got a soft spot for the dip too. I really do. Yeah, sorry. But at the moment, they're, they're a big but, shot. You know, the, uh, you know, the everyone can have, have a one bad race, yeah? So <laughs> you always want to do a reaper charge. Um, well, it was both of us. It wasn't as though it was just one. It was both of us. Yeah, yeah, no, no. We've been, we've been consistent. We've, we've both, in, in all of these, they, um, we've been consistent in the, in the points given to the cigars and, and what we're experiencing out of them. Yeah, which is a good thing. But this has got some real class to it now, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. These are lovely. Just lovely. Oof. Still just under medium body. Just under medium body. Oh, but yeah. Just, uh, uh, mine's mine's a bit further than that. It's, it's well under. Um, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, you know, if it's got the flavours and uh, construction's excellent. Nothing not to love. Ah. Oh. Still got a third to go, but I'm starting to think where we're going to place this one. Well, let's first let's break what, your, the way it should be ranked. Your, your peak twos might come down a notch as well. Well, oh, well, has this got a chance of being close to the to the two? It's close to the two. I'm not sure it's quite it's there got yet. A third to go. It's got a third to go. It's got a third to go here, so it might just run over the top. So, or just to, if I've got this correct, at the moment you're proposed order has been completely reversed. I just thought I'd point that out. It's, it's, it is what it is. Hey, huh? I've heard that before. We'll be back with you at the end of the last third to wrap it up. Uh. Kenny, let's, let's wrap up the Vagabana Unicos. Um, Gem Feb 20. Is that right? I think it is. Yes, I think that's what it says. Was it? Uh, lovely. Yeah. Lovely cigar. Getting a little warm towards the end, but overall, yeah, I'm 93, 94. Maybe 94. Edges ahead of the P2. I'm going to put the P2 just ahead of it. Just. Yeah, but that's because your preconceptions. You could, throw, you could throw a blanket over both of them, couldn't you? Yeah. You, you could throw if a someone said over. have have either, you'd be happy. Yeah. Ah. Oh. But seriously, between the Monty two, the P two, and this cigar here, yeah. pyramids are at the top of their game. Yeah. yeah, they're killing it, aren't they? And that is just pure Vega Rubina in its flavour profile at its best. Yeah. Well, that's what we found with each of them so far, except perhaps the um, dip two, because that's really the only example. But the others um, are house DNA right through. Yeah, I'm going to give this a, a I get, yeah, 93, 93, 94. You, you couldn't, 93. 94. 
Well, which leaves us one left in the. Is that the Upman? The, yeah, the Upman two. And we'll do that next time you free. Next time. I'll wrap it up. Yeah. yeah. But, so you've got, what, a 94.95 and two 93.94s. Pretty close, yeah. I know that I know the pyramids have been good, and we've been saying now for eighteen months the pyramids are really, really good. But um, well, I'll tell you what, I'm still I'm still surprised at how good they are. Now this 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 little exercise that we're doing has really crystallised that point. And we haven't looked at a limited edition or regional for ages, and and yet we've had fantastic cigars. You don't need to. Exactly, it's a lesson. Regular, regular production cigars are smoking the house down at the moment. I haven't had a D4 for a little while, but you know, every time I have a D4, um, I think why, why on earth do you spend money on, uh, on big names? Don't say that, Ken. Don't really. It's not good for us retailers. <laughs> no. No. I agree with you. And, I, and I, that's why I tell guys on the forum, I mean, we had, we had, we're on Zoom, we had a great Zoom session yesterday with guys on the forum and, and I was saying, you know, I just am bagging not buying. Skins, apparently. Bagging the poor skins. We were Seriously. bagging the skins. But I Have also they not say, got enough problems? I'm not investing in a lot of LEs at this point, not from a personal stash at all. I'm not investing in LEs. Um, I'm just putting away good regular production. I just get more out of it. Um, you know, hmm. I can't fault them. Anyway, thank you for that, Ken. And um, I'll see you soon for the Upman 2 and to all of FOH. Have a great week and hasta luego. Keep well. Bye-bye.